Do you struggle in situations where you are outnumbered? I'm talking about 1v2s, 1v3s, 1v4s. It's okay. It's not easy. It's completely understandable. But today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to come out on top in these situations, how to capitalize in these 1v2s or just in these in situations where you're outnumbered. I do get a 32 kill solo duo win in this game. And this is perfect because I'm able to break down a lot of the 1v2s I get and show you why I do what I do. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, man, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel even maybe leave it down in the comments below but let's get right into it i'm going to be going peak here i do have a 300 dollars gifted challenge if i do get 30 plus kills and a win so let's go and show you guys what i do man so immediately i'm just trying to get some loot some guns here um i do get into peak i hear people above me so a big thing in 1v2s and in situations obviously the first knock is about everything and anything so if you guys get anything from this video, you got to understand that first knock is extremely huge, especially in a 1v2. I'm going to get this gas canister, try to uh, maybe blow some people up here. I see the heli coming in, baits the first, the heli baits the first guy in, able to get that first knock. Immediately, as soon as I get this first knock, it's pretty much, um, you know, my 1v2 uh, success rate goes from, you know, like 50%, 60% to like 80%. Because there's two things you can do here. Now I could bait his teammate who's knocked. And basically play for the guy he's gonna move up he's gonna try to help his teammate and i could listen to the sound cues and what you'll hear him right here i do hear him come down he hears footsteps a little bit to the left so i'm gonna check the corner and secure the kill there so this is a big thing man in 1v2s especially you are you can bait the enemy's knock so well and it's gonna allow you to get that next kill a lot easier because now you can know his positioning uh you can basically work him so I kind of hovered down here for a little bit, trying to wait and see uh, what's going on up top. Uh, basically, I know this guy's trying to shoot at someone, so I'm going to take advantage of this. He is kind of playing for me, but I'm able to secure this kill right here. So now this is a really uh, tough situation. Uh, I do got two people in front of me. I do got a plate up. So there's a little tip right here. I'm, I'm going to jump around, kind of shoulder, jump around, see where they're at. I see the first guy. I'm going to try to take a shot. So here I'm trying to take an angle where the second guy can't see me. Like I said, it's all about isolating the first guy and trying to get that knock without dying. So right here, you're gonna see, I'm trying to shoot this guy and I'm gonna shoot this canister here. So I'm gonna hit him with the canister. I hit him with a couple bullets. So he's definitely kind of weak. Now with the canister exploded, I'm gonna slide across and challenge him. So this is good for two reasons. One, he's weak already. So I know I can take this 1v1 and most likely knock him and live for sure. Two, you see this gas canister is a little heads up play, but it's going to create a smoke of clouds. So his teammate is, I know his teammate is behind him by the middle of it. So this smoke is basically going to block his teammate's vision. So this is a little heads up play here. So now I'm able to isolate the first guy. Like I said, you want to isolate that first guy and get the knock. So I'm able to get the knock here. Now I'm going to plate and try to he reload plate and here, listen to footsteps. I'm going to hear him push me. And he's going to slide kind of clueless a little bit. And he's going to look the wrong way for a second. I'm able to secure that kill. So I pop a UAV here. Uh, I know I'm kind of behind two guys. This is kind of an easy just clean up 1v2. Uh, basically shoot both of them back. Um, his teammate's going to react. Got that first knock. You already know what happens when I get that first knocked. And his teammate's weak. His teammate's panicking. Should I res him? Um, I got to protect them, but I also got to plate up. I basically get these two for free. Now on the radar, you're going to see there's two guys right here. You see these two guys? So I know they're both in this corner. So this 2-2 two, two was pretty easy. But now this is the next uh, thing I'm explaining to you guys. So right here, I'm going to take my brain out for the long-range gunfight. I'm going to pre-aim it. Okay, they're kind of just sitting there, it looks like, from the minimap. They're not overextending. They're kind of taking their time. So the first knock, again, crucial. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush you. I'm not just going to run in there like a maniac. If I can get that first knock without getting weak, it's a W. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So right here, I'm going to take my time, just reloading, make sure I have the ammo for the 1v2. They're not peeking me. Okay, as soon as they're not peeking me, they're probably playing slow. Going to bunny hop the corner, take my time, pre and pre and pre and pre -aim. So right here, my goal is to just to get that first knock. If I can get the first knock with barely getting weak or not weak at all, that makes the second kill so much easier. So right here, he's kind of looking at the door. I'm going to be able to knock him on the side. Now I know his teammates probably here with him camping in the corner. He didn't even touch me. So now this next kill should be very easy. He's going to come around the corner. He breaks almost all my plates, but I secure the kill very easily. So it's a different story. Imagine I was weak in this situation. There's a higher chance his teammate might have killed me or, you know, just had a higher chance of killing me. So that's a little easy 1v2 there. So I know guys at this house right here. I'm going to try to sneak my loadout, get my other class. And I know this guy's at this house. So I'm kind of ready for the window gunfight. I pull out the brand. 
able to get that first knock once again now i'm telling you that knock is everything man all right so there's two ways this plays out he actually got me weak here so i'm gonna take my time and instead of just rushing and being a maniac i'm gonna play it up now obviously this means that he's probably gonna get rezzed if his team is next to him but that's fine i'd rather be full health and weak and kind of just like hope i can get their time they res and they just two team shot me right so in this situation i know i don't have time to capitalize so instead i'm gonna play it up i'm gonna play it fast and aggressive but make sure i'm at full health so this is this is a big thing here guys watch what i do next so right here i'm gonna break the door open play it aggressive because i know his teammate probably just got res when you just get res you're still weak right and you also have to play it up so a lot of times the guy who i just knocked is gonna be easy like i can knock that guy super fast so right here i'm gonna break the door immediately see the guy on the right looks like he's playing up obviously this is the guy that i just knocked and i'm gonna be able i'm gonna go for the knock on him so you saw how much it took like three bullets to knock him he had one plate on i think so right here i know i just knocked this guy teammate on the left i'm gonna play this aggressive i'm gonna slide across now two things here right first i got the first knock again that's a w <laughs> now i get a 1v1 i i isolated the first guy got him now 1v1 and it's just it's just a 1v1 fight i have an mp40 close range i'm really good close range uh obviously it's uh mp40 is like one of the best close range guns so this guy's actually gonna get really close to killing me well you see here but um basically like i have his teammate knocked he has to make the next play you know it's like you get the teammate knocked and now it's their move like a lot of times they're not just gonna let their teammate die right they're it's they're playing duos they're gonna try to help each other he's gonna try to play aggressive to help his teammate so right here i'm gonna play for the kill on him uh he's playing it well i'm playing it well i'll take my time but you'll see i peek him i see him rushing me i'm gonna reposition take the 1v1 gunfight and he gets really close to killing me but i was able to secure that kill and you can see how i isolated them get the knock push up slide across knock him again 1v1 you see a lot of these 1v2 situations i'm trying to get the 1v1 if i if they both run at me at the same time a lot of times it, the gunfights and the situations could be a lot harder for me to come on top of every time so i move up to airfield i get a couple more kills here i know there's two guys you see in my radar there's two guys kind of just relaxing here so i'm gonna reposition myself so again i'm trying to get that this first knock before i even go for a full commit uh these guys know i'm here obviously after shooting these guys are taking their time so i'm taking my time now a lot of times you know i can run out in the open i can get aggressive on them i can pop that silence you know it can work um it just it's a lower and less consistent play so right here i'm taking my time uh these guys are taking their time as well you can see they definitely know what they're doing uh this truck is kind of trying to pinch me here so i'm being very cautious with uh trying not to get you know third partied so i'm kind of trying to take my time and stay away from the truck but also at the same time trying to hold these guys in and get these kills like i said i do got to get at least 30 plus kills to complete the challenge so i'm trying very hard uh to get more kills and not just kind of play too slow so i'm kind of not seeing these guys at all and eventually it's going to kind of click to me that you know they might be wrapping all the way around so over like eventually like you got to be careful chat like a lot of times like we sometimes you play too slow information is so key in warzone and it's just so important to know where people are where they're going where are they so right here i'm going to decide to white peek it and i see a guy running across so this means two things i'm going to stim here one to get here faster so i'm trying to beat these guys to the top so they're going to get the high ground i'm trying to get under them before they see me so i can have a better a better fight so i see this guy rotating i see this and then his teammate already committed to the rotation earlier so he's already crossing so again i'm gonna get this first knock here i'm trying a trying first knock immediately i'm like let's go i got the first knock now i know you remember we saw this guy wrapping around now i know he's gonna be right here ish in this area so i have my brand out i'm ready for the gunfight i'm centering on top of the hill and basically ready to fight this guy i'm gonna hit the reload i see on my top left gonna hit gonna hit the basically the premium trying to spot him and as soon as i know where he's at with the brand it's just an easy kill so you can see i slow play the situation um uh, but I, I eventually once i wasn't seeing them i white peaked and it could have gone bad right let's say i stayed there too long and didn't kind of peek for information and kind of i could have trapped myself like these guys could have wrapped around and it literally held me or something like that so i pop an advanced uav here and uh i see two guys in my radar you see them coming up right here uh, these guys are kind of taking their time so i try to take a brand fight here um i crack one get the other one kind of weak i decide to push up while they're weak um you see you can see i'm just peeking up peeking down peeking up and down peeking up and down so as soon as i have them both weak that is my time to capitalize some you, you do not want to i don't want to let them sit there and kind of plate up and then get full health and then fight me while they're at their best right like i cracked one so he has no plates another one's like probably half plates 
So that is my time to take out my sub, get in their face while they're plating, catch them off guard. And even though it's a 1v2 situation, the, the damage I put into them allows me to capitalize the situation. So you can see, I get in, get in their face. I have incendiary rounds, which stops their plating and weakens them slowly. So you can see, I kind of hit some pop shots. So this is really good to do. Um, you don't always have to commit to the fight, but if you have incendiary rounds and you can kind of like peek, shoot them, peek, shoot them. Uh, a lot of times they're just kind of screwed at this, at that point, just because of the fire rounds. Let's see right here and knock, get this guy weak, peek again, get this guy weak, peek again, get this guy full. He, I commit to it because he has no plates and bam, easy 1v2. At this point in the game, I have 25 kills. I need five kills out of nine to complete the challenge. So I'm going to get a little aggressive here. Zone is coming in. So obviously I do have to get a little more aggro here. So this is going to be a very mixy situation. One of the scariest moments in the game because I almost die here, but I'm going to use my aggression and stim movement to secure these kills. So there's two trip mines right there. I'm going to wrap around a little bit to the left. I know these guys are kind of fighting. I was going to streak them, but they are fighting a guy across. So I'm going to stim for the movement boost. I'm going to stim back. So again, you can see right here, I isolate that 1v1. It wasn't it wasn't like I did it on purpose necessarily, but it kind of happened on purpose. And you can see what happens when I get that 1v1. So here I'm going to pre-stim because stim boosts your movement. I'm just getting you ready for this crazy engagement, which you're going to see why it works so well. So I'm going to slide across here. He's going to shoot. Now he's going to be like, oh my God, there's a guy here. Let me run around this corner and fight him. So I'm going to slide back to break his camera and I'm able to isolate this guy. So I'm going to get this 1v1 basically here. And now his teammate is going to come up behind him right now from here. And he's going to try to go for the trade. So I'm instantly going to slide across. Well, he was basically close by him, but I'm instantly going to slide back to hit another slide on it. So I got that quick 1v1 knock without barely getting any weak. And that's like amazing. That's really good. So now I'm almost at full health and I'm able to fight a 1v1. And with the movement, I'm able to secure this kill very easily. So you can see how I use my movement and how I'm able to basically fight these uh, basically kind of like almost a 1v1 quick and then another 1v1. Now, if my movement is slow and clunky, a lot of times it won't look like that, right? If you just kind of run at them and kind of out in the open, you fight both them both at the same time, then you're probably going to die. But you can see how I really use my movement and my stim to my advantage to uh, basically uh, fight a quick 1v1, another quick 1v1 and basically um, get that too. So right here, it's 28 kills. Um, there's four guys left. Uh, right here, I'm going to streak these guys and kind of play for these kills first. Um, this is basically the last two kills. The ending gets kind of crazy. Uh, you'll see why. But so I kind of back these guys up down with a streak. So by doing that, it allows me to push up. So yeah, the streak doesn't get me a kill, but it's all about, you know, capitalizing with your streaks. And like the thing is at the highest level, aggression is also very important. So streak backs these guys down and I'm able to kind of push up. These guys are kind of playing weirdly slow and they're kind of playing for me. So I'm kind of taking my time here on uh, see if I can knock one without getting weak. Um, I'm able to knock this first guy. He does kind of break me. Um, oh, oh, he breaks two of my plates, basically. The good news is I do have an advance up because of the big, the big game bounty. So I kind of can see his enemy, the other guy kind of slowly playing it. Uh, the big the big game bounty runs out. So I only play once and then I'm able to get the second guy with the MP40. So again, uh, basically got that 1v1 uh, basically again at full health and get another 1v1. So you can see it's a, it's a common trend, but it is key. And you can see why a lot of times I'm winning these situations. Um, I'm winning situations because of these 1v1s. I'm isolating these guys. I'm, I'm making sure as much as I can uh, to fight these 1v1s. And this is a big thing in general that you'll see in trios and quads. Like you want to get a knock. You want to get two knocks before you get like super aggro. And it's it can be a little more difficult. So right here, uh, I'm in a 1v2 situation. They have the high ground. I kind of jumped down to um, basically not die because if I let them kind of run at me together, I'm probably dead. I'm going to stim here to get kind of uh, across the map and reposition so now basically uh i repositioned myself kind of camping these rocks zones coming in slowly they're taking their time i'm taking my time again what are we trying to do here shit leave it in the comments down below we're trying to get a 1v1 the first knock is crucial so i'm kind of taking my time here just sitting behind this rock i'm in a pretty good spot i you guys saw i dropped low i was about right here i dropped to the low and low ground is very bad you don't want to be low ground so you can see i kind of wrapped back up and sort of took a more of a higher ground approach because it's definitely really good so this is for the win this is for the 32 kill game um i'm taking my time here kind of just playing this weird like cool really good spot low key it's like high ground behind a rock kind of can see through his leaves they can't really look behind me unless they go down low um just using like a ratty spot 
And I think, uh, I don't know if you guys will see him on my screen, but he's going to run past my right. So his team is going to wrap wide to try to cut this angle off. And you're going to see me um, very soon here get this kill and basically leave it to 1v1. So you see, you see him rocking right here. A little, little rat. Just crawling, walk, hugging the zone, trying to find me. Get the kill, full kill. And I'll kind of reposition a little bit just in case he was above me. And go into the zone so maybe i over repositioned but i didn't want him to kind of shoot me in the back while i'm kind of sitting there i have no idea where he is right my my knowledge for this guy is zero no clue so i i i i overdid it but just you know just to be safe i didn't want to get died to this guy so now it's a 1v1 32 kill win again i got that first knock i got the first kill that's a w um i'm in a really weird spot i'm trying to kind of stay here and not die but it's like scary because he can come high ground and maybe kill me um but this next thing that happens you're gonna see why um it's really good information for me so kind of just taking my time here waiting for the zone to close he's gonna shoot right here i think he shoots a bush or something i don't know maybe he saw me i can't climb back up he's gonna shoot wide right like straight ahead so here the here are the gunshots right it sounds about like deep straight ahead so as soon as he shoots I know he can't be above me. This this information is very crucial. So uh, I, I'm, it allows me to push up and kind of get the high ground and kind of look for him. So it went from like, oh my God, this guy could be anywhere to now I have an idea where he can be. Let me reposition. Let me push up. So I'm on top of this hill. I'm in another good spot here. Kind of just trying to see, listen to my footsteps up top and kind of trying to wait to see if I can find him. I know this is a very slow 1v1. These guys did not want to give this to me, but I had a lot on the line. So I had to take my time and win this thing. So right here, I hear him pull out a crossbow. I hear the crossbow pick up right there. So I'm like, okay, he's somewhere in front of me. He's trying to crossbow down low. I see the red dot right here. So he's literally here. I'm going to crack him here. So with this weird circle and, you know, him kind of being trapped because the gas is going to close in, I'm going to stim and get very aggressive. Him. I know he's broken. So this is my time to kind of attack him. So I'm going to go right here. I hear him in front of me. This gets a little awkward. But I'm Let's able go! to secure the win right there. And bada bing, bada boom. Let's fucking get it! Oh, no cursing, Apathy. So, if you guys enjoyed this content, man, I love helping people out. I love giving tips and kind of giving you my insight of the game. Uh, this is like the first time ever doing something like this, especially on Warzone. So, I definitely could do more of this and I could even break stuff down more, especially doing trios, quads, or even solos. If this is something you guys want to see more, man, I hope you guys uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Even comment down below and let me know. And we definitely do some more of this in the future. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. A like goes a long way, as I like to say. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Apathy, out.